Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, we're taking a look at a Halfling Blood Bowl team. I do believe maybe this is two boxes of them. I'm not sure. Uh, this guy, I can't remember his name. In fact, let's start moving these guys around. So this guy here is something Rumble Bow. It's from Forge World. It's a resin model. He's on this sheep. <laughs> this, all these models are very cool. They're very characterful. On the box art, they are green and yellow. This client wanted green and red, and I had to contact him and say, listen, we've done some prototypes, and they might look quite Christmassy. And he said he didn't care. He was just glad to have them. And so uh, red and green we did. However, what the artist did is she changed the green to an olive green, and that definitely made this work out. Uh, they're, they're really, really cool. There's lots of different poses, and I'm very happy with how they turned out. This is just our basic level of painting, so, uh, you know, it's not, it's not hero level or anything, but I think they turned out quite well. There's the little uh, tokens that they have, a, so a steamy sausage on a fork, and these little uh, sandwiches, there's like an empanada and what looks to be like a hoagie there. And uh, of course the tokens. And uh, let's, let's talk about the tree men. I'm really excited about these. So there were two of them. Obviously they're, they're identical. And I put on loads of layers on these guys. I'm really, uh, I'm really stoked with how organic they look. But I, I did one a little bit autumn and then another one a little bit uh, spring. I hope the client likes them. I've left off these little face covers that they have. So they're like thorns and they're supposed to be like the fronts of football helmets, right? But frankly, I think they obscure the coolest detail in the model, which is this amazing face. And just, and just turns it into this, this mishmash. So I highly recommend not putting on these face mask things, but uh, definitely can do it. We'll see what the client has to say about it. And uh, away we go. Um, I, think, uh, I think that's all I gotta say about these. They're, they're really cool. I always look at things like, would I use them in a role-playing game? And the answer is yes. Uh, what would be interesting would be a monk order of halflings <laughs> just like beat the party up or something like that. I don't know. It's a uh, it's it's a tough call with this one. I I don't know if they would translate well to to role playing games. All right. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and I just know that you got your inspiration for the day. Yeah.